I never wanted to ruin anyone's life. It was just such an eerie feeling. I'm just too scared. She said I know who my biological parents are. I can feel my body sinking now just talking about it. I was just like, woof. You and me have the same dad, don't we? Oh my gosh. She's like, yeah. It's definitely her. I'm your sister. How on earth could my sister move next door to me? Holy crap. My name is Hillary Harris. I was adopted when I was an infant. My parents were very loving and very nice. I grew up in Elmwood, Wisconsin. I came to Eau Claire in 2005 for college. I met my husband in 2008. We bought this house here in Eau Claire in October of 2011. Then I found out I was pregnant. That's when I went through the adoption agency and found out all my information about where I came from, birth mom, birth dad. I found out then that I had other siblings, but I could not find the half-sister. Her name was Dawn Johnson. When we looked at the house, honestly, we didn't even realize that it had a shared driveway. The house that we shared the driveway with, it was actually a rental house. Like every year, there was new neighbors, and we had actually contemplated moving. So in 2017, the new neighbor moves in, and I don't know, I didn't even introduce myself. I remember that, because so I was just like, ugh. Whatever. My name is Dawn Johnson. I was raised in Wisconsin in a small town. My parents were not married. I did not know who my biological father was until I was 18 and we moved to Eau Claire. We did look at probably 20 plus houses. The house that I finally found was on Craigslist. I actually pulled up and the first thing I noticed was a shared driveway. First thing that came to me is who's going to take care of the snow. After I moved into the house, I did come to find a little girl was coming next door. Uh, her name is Stella. I did not like when Stella kept going over there. So I mean, I would definitely like watch through the window if she'd like walk over there. My husband came over and he was like, I met the new neighbors. I was like, oh cool. What's her name? Dawn. What are the chances? It's not possible. I was at home one day and a big truck pulled in our driveway with huge stacks of shingles on it. And there was a big red banner like wrapped around the shingles. And it said, Johnson. And I'm like, oh my God, that's Don Johnson. I was stressing myself out about it and my husband was getting stressed out. He's like, if you don't ask her, I'm gonna ask her. Stella's mom and father came over. I remember like looking at her hands, oh, she has really big hands too. And she has curly hair, and I have naturally wavy hair. I had a set of eyes on me that I could feel going up and down my body. I was still too nervous at that point. And I'm thinking, huh. And then they decided, well, we're not gonna get back to the roof, so we're gonna leave. And we said bye, and we walked inside, and my husband's like, you did, what the heck? You didn't ask her. Why, I'm like, I couldn't, I'm, like, I'm just too scared. I never wanted to ruin anyone's life, you know, or like, be a surprise where they didn't want anything to do with me. And now there's this woman moved next door to me. I can make her really sad or I ruin some family secret. So I pull up my father's obituary and see that it says Don Johnson. The phone lights up and it says, um, hi, this is, you know, Hillary, your next door neighbor. Is your last name Johnson? Were you Miss Loyal Cornfest Queen? I said, yes, I was Miss Loyal Cornfest in 1983. And she goes, well, who's, who's your, your birth dad? I said Wayne Klaus, but, but unfortunately, unfortunately he passed, passed away in 2010. 2010. And it was like silent for a couple minutes. Oh my gosh, it's her. It's Don Johnson. And when I said it, you and me have the same dad, don't we? And she's like, yeah, I'm your sister. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, I was just, just in shock. Holy crap, now what? Now what's our dynamic going to be like? And the next day I ended up bringing pictures of her biological father because she has never met him and uh, brought her flowers and a card and said, you know, welcome sis, I'm glad to meet you. We talked a lot. We spent a lot of time together. We're very fortunate we that have, we uh, we've had a very have, good experience. have a really yes. good connection together. I feel like Dawn's over here a lot. I mean, not like not like that, but I, I'll, I'll ask her for things. Like, honestly, I've probably asked her for at least 10 rolls of toilet paper. A lot of life changes, um, a lot of firsts for both of us. Hillary, I'm expecting become... a, another little girl in a couple months. I've kind of felt like Donna's there now as a 
neighbor and a sister and a grandma. We always see each other every day. We see each other every day. She comes home from work and I'll go out there and talk to her. People really don't know each other any, anymore. They just are too busy with each other's lives and they never really do get to know your neighbors. So be kind to your neighbor because you never know, it could be your sister you've been looking for. Thank you.